Dancing in the aisles and Hammer is laying down a funky groove. But it's not a concert in just any European city. This is Moscow and political office is at stake. At this upmarket Moscow hotel, politics is the game too. Here, Claudia Schiffer lends her special brand of glamour to an unlikely cause. Perhaps sensing that they lacked glamour of their own, Viktor Chernomyrdin and his supporters have signed up these stars to raise our Homer's Russia's profile. Film director Nikita Mikhailkov is a prominent party member, as is General Lev Roklin. Formed last April by Prime Minister Chernomyrdin, the our Homer's Russia party already has an established base of workers, and a centrist conservative grouping could be the only real challenge communists and nationalists in the upcoming elections. Certainly they've bombarded Russians with a fairly sophisticated campaign presenting a united front, something lacking elsewhere in Russian politics. Chernobyl himself has recently raised his profile spectacularly. He took charge with mixed results when Chechen rebels raided a Russian town. Opponents such as Igor Gaidar hit parties that probably are too fragmented to gain much power in the Duma. Chernomyrdin and his supporters are promising a tough line on crime, stability and security, all longed for by Russians since the breakup of the Soviet Union turned their lives upside down. And he offers something else, a kind of razzmatazz of a modern Western election campaign unknown in the communist days.